May I come in, sir? Come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Upma Jain. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what were your subjects in mains? Sir, forestry and geology, sir. Forestry and geology. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. <coughs> Uh, you have been to South India? Uh, sir, uh, I have been to... Uh, uh, yes, sir. I was uh, I was in uh, Bangalore once. Only once? I visited. Otherwise, you have not seen Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh? Sir, unfortunately, I did not get to no. go. Okay. You like South Indian dishes? Yes, sir. My Can name you is tell also me a few? Yes, sir. Sir, firstly, Upma is a South Indian dish. Then, sir, uh, Dosa, Idli. So, these are the famous South Indian dishes. Dosa, Idli, Vada. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Uttapam. Yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, we have National Commission for uh, Dual Castes, Dual Tribes, Backward Classes, isn't it? As in uh, constitutional bodies. Do we have any commission for socially and educationally backward classes? So, National Commission for Socially and Educationally Backward ah, At the national level, socially and educationally backward classes commission? So, uh, so there is a national commission for backward classes only which was I'm talking socially and educationally backward classes person. Sorry sir, I'm not able to think. Probably we do not have, otherwise I'm not sure, sir. We had previously? Uh, sorry sir, I'm not sure. This OBC reservations when those came? Or reservations for other backward classes? Yes, sir. These are recommendations by some commission? Uh, sorry, sir. As uh, as of the moment, I'm not able to recall. Mandal Commission, you heard of? Yes, sir. Mandal Commission, I've heard of. So the, these recommendations are based on the Mandal. This uh, reservations in OBCs yes, based on the Mandal Commission. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So that was the commission for a particular period. Okay, thank. You. Okay, <clears throat> we have zonal councils. You heard of this? Uh, yes, sir. We are having zonal uh, councils, sir. Some yeah. meetings taking place. Home Minister said this in this council, that council? Uh, sir, uh, I am having few information about the Zonal Council that they are, uh, that we are having... Little, little louder please. It's, oh, okay sir, sorry sir. Uh, sir, we are having uh, some Zonal Council uh, which I know is uh, through State Reorganization Act of 1956. We are having Western Zonal Council and uh, Eastern, Central, Zonal. Eastern Zonal Council, Central Zonal Council. Who had those councils? Sir, uh, sir, uh, as of now, I'm able to recall. I may be wrong, but uh, these are headed by the chief minister of the respective state in a rotation basis. Sir. I just told that home minister is telling something in the council meeting. Headed by the oh, sorry. home minister. These councils are headed by the home minister. Oh, sorry, sir, he sir, frequently sir. holds meetings uh, of different councils. Okay. okay. See so this uh, uh, elections to Rajya Sabha. Yes. You know the process of election to Rajya Sabha member. Yes, sir. Hmm? You know that? Yes, sir. So, Rajya Sabha members are representative of? Uh, the states. Of the states. Yes, sir. So, generally, uh, if a Rajya Sabha member is from Madhya Pradesh, he should represent Madhya Pradesh. Yes, sir. Hmm? And he should be a voter there. Uh, sir, uh, uh, the voter clause we were having earlier that the uh, representation, uh, that the representation to the same state required, uh, uh, require one to be the voter in the same state. But as of now, we do not have such clause. So when it was uh, amended, when that was amended. Sir, uh, sorry, sir, I'm not sure. With it was amended in 2003. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> uh, you heard of Wall Street, Dalal Street. Sorry, sir. I Dalal know. Street, you heard of? Dalal Street, sir. Sorry, sir. I have not heard. Bombay Stock Exchange. Sir. Bombay Stock Exchange. Sir, Bombay Stock Exchange. Ah, what is it? Sir, it is a stock. Uh, it is a stock exchange uh, platform like uh, we have National Stock Exchange. Like ah, what, what is the function of those? Sir, uh, basically, it is a. Uh, so basically, the function of Bombay Stock Exchange uh, is uh, trade in securities, uh, securities and bonds. So, okay. <coughs> uh, we have any uh, uh, sports university in our country? Sports university? Sir, sorry, not sir. heard of. I'm, I'm not aware. Sir. Okay. <coughs> 
ब्रह्मोस मिसाइल्स यस सर व्हाट आर दोस सर ब्रह्मोस मिसाइल आर द मिसाइल व्हिच आर जॉइंटली डेवलप्ड बाय इंडिया एंड रशिया सर दिस आर प्रोबेबली सुपर सोनिक मिसाइल एग्जैक्ट डिटेल्स आई हैव टू रीड दिस ओके थैंक यू लेट मी स्पीक लिटिल लाउड ओके सर सॉरी सॉरी सर सॉरी टू बोदर यू सर इंडिया हैज लॉन्च्ड अ न्यू स्कीम ऑन पाम ऑयल आर यू अवेयर ऑफ दैट आर सॉरी सर development of palm oil in india also sorry sir i am not aware of the scheme as such okay do we import palm oil from some other country yes sir major major portion of the palm oil we import from other countries like indonesia malaysia these countries sir. okay so to reduce dependence on that government of india has launched a new national uh, program on oil sales on palm oil particularly okay thank right. you sir so what are the challenges with respect to palm oil uh, cultivation and plantation Sorry, sir. I am not okay. exactly sure what. You know what is agroforestry? Yes, sir. I know. Can you speak something about it? Sir, agroforestry is basically the concept where uh, agriculture and the forestry activities are carried simultaneously, simultaneously and in the same manner. Uh, sir, for example, a farmer uh, is growing a uh, is growing crop in his field as well as the trees. So this is the idea of agroforestry. So what kind of trees? Sir, uh, there can be multiple type of trees. For example, sir, the fruit bearing trees can also be there, like mango trees, jamun trees. So these, uh, these kind of. Uh, Anything trees. suitable for Morena, your home district? Yes, sir. I believe agroforestry is more or less suitable to every. So which plants can, uh, which trees can be planted near the crops? So we can uh, plant the. We can uh, plant the uh, the, uh, the trees. Uh, Which are uh, like I give example of uh, like which are no suitable to the climate conditions and all. Yes, sir, which are suitable to the uh, which are suitable to the climate condition and we which are not having the allopathic effect and the uh, harming tendency to the nearby crops, sir. Okay, so in that only what would be suitable? Can you suggest any trees? Let's say you are the DFO of Morena district. Can you suggest any trees which will be suitable for agroforestry in Morena? Yes, sir. Sir, we can uh, plant trees like. Uh, sir, we can plant trees like jamun trees and neem tree and also sir tamarind trees. So these kind of tree we can plant it in my Morena district only, as we are having abundance of these trees in my district. Okay, all right. What is the role of forest service officer in tribal development? Sir, uh, there are uh, multiple dimension on which. Uh, a uh, forest officer touches upon on tribal development uh, firstly sir uh, the tribal rights sir that uh, ensuring the tribal rights uh, through indian uh, forest uh, forest right act of 2006 sir also we come up with uh, uh, ensuring the rural livelihood project of the sir we take care of the wildlife of wildlife and planting activities which are in run effective for the betterment of tribals and and also sir we are having uh, certain schemes uh, for tribal upliftment for, for their health and education so we also ensure implementation of the schemes are you sure or the district collector will be responsible for the schemes sir uh, sir uh, they are also responsible for uh, i believe sir at least coordination work or some uh, if oh. not a direct or major role then helping in implementation will be there uh, is morena aspirational district no sir morena is not an aspirational district okay uh, last question you have not okay. filled madhya pradesh as your home card despite you have been from madhya pradesh any yes, reason why uh, sir at, actually my family is likely to shift in uh, rajasthan only so okay. i have given that as Aj- first preference over madhya pradesh thank you sir okay upma yes sir टूरिज्म एक्टिविटीज देर आर वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट देर आर फॉरेस्ट सर्वेज एंड इन अ लॉन्ग रन गेटिंग अ चांस टू मेक फॉरेस्ट पॉलिसीज एज वेल सो सर these these uh, and also sir i believe that if we want to do you uh, do go for human development then we have to ensure the health of environment as well so sir ensuring the same i believe uh, i i have visited any natural forest area yes sir i have been to run kambol national park okay 
Yes, sir. Okay. And any national park from Madhya Pradesh? Sir, unfortunately, I did not get out. Uh, there is a national park nearby Gwalior? Yes, sir. There is a uh, Madhav National Park nearby Gwalior in Shupuri district. And also there is Palpur Kuno, which has recently given the uh, given the status of national park uh, in Shopur district. Both of these are uh, nearby Gwalior. Sir, so, Palpur Kuno? No, no, sir, it was in news because of the because of the program of Cheetah reintroduction and also the uh, it was also proposed site for the relocation of uh, gear loins from uh, uh, gear loins from Gujarat sir. So this, it was in your area is uh, uh, having a lot of ravine, ravines. Yes. So uh, they are practically different type of vegetation. What type of vegetation there in ravines? Sir in ravines the uh, mainly the vegetation is such which is resistance to drought which is resistance to wind erosion so sir the hardy species like sir prosperous julifera and acacia cartachu acacia arabica these kind of uh, these kind of uh, species are specifically in the ravine area and sir in other areas we are having other type of forest like but uh, how uh, soil and water conservation methods can be uh, done in your area this murena <coughs> sir uh, uh, sir, uh, government has also come up with uh, agri uh, with a scheme or vision of making the badland topography and uh, 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 converting the badland topography into an agricultural cultivable land, sir. So basically, we are planning to firstly level the level the field of the gilly, which is uh, which is not appropriate uh, as of now, sir, and planting more trees, which are which are having which are having a very dense root or we can which can bind the soil effectively mm -hmm. and also sir one of the major reasons of this uh, badland topography is is water erosion through chambal and its tributary only sir mm -hmm. so if we can control the uh, uh, we can control the water erosion through mm -hmm. check dams or uh, check dam or these activities what is the scope of aerial seeding in those areas which are uh, beyond the I mean, reach because we there is a bit of areas. Yes, sir. So, uh, what is the scope of aerial seeding in those areas? Sir, we have uh, earlier also we have earlier also went for aerial seeding once in the Chambal region only, sir. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, the, the, sir, particularly in the ravine areas, the the aerial seeding performed well, sir. Uh, especially uh, they, we planted some two or uh, we we chose two or three species sir for aerial seeding among which the prosperous julifera show a success rate of mm -hmm. uh, I think greater than 80 percent sir so we can go for aerial seeding for this area sir okay there is a cane ghadiyal sanctuary also yes sir there is a cane ghadiyal sanctuary tell me something about it yes sir sir uh, there is uh, the cane ghadiyal uh, hmm. sanctuary is located in Morana and basically it is on the tri function of MP UP and Rajasthan sir mm -hmm. sir uh, it it houses uh, the uh, it it has uh, the ghadial reserve which mm -hmm. is a, which is for the protection of ghadial and it also has the indian uh, indian uh, the uh, sir gangetic dolphin which is the national aquatic animal yes. of india right so. okay uh, how you link uh, forestry with the livelihood in, in those areas where the poverty is there yes sir sir uh, forestry uh, Sir, forestry in many ways provide livelihood to the people. For example, sir, uh, through uh, the timber-based industry, if there is any, we 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 can have the in uh, timber-based industry which can provide. What type of what type of minor forest produce we normally get there in this uh, Gwalior, Murena, Chambal areas? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, we get uh, specially the care. Care, uh, care acacia, uh, uh, hmm. acacia arabica, or cottage. sir, we generally get the care and gum, uh, gum, in the in the Morena and Gwalior region, hmm. and and also we are having one katha processing unit in Banmore, sir, Banmore, which is in Morena district only, hmm. and also sir, honey production hmm. is high in this district. Which one is the do most uh, dominant uh, species there? Tree species in this Chambal Morena area. Have you heard the term Kardhai? Kardhai? Kardhai. This is a local name. Anogasis, Latifolia. Okay. 
So, sir, it was also the tree of uh, of the run Tambur National Park I visited. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, doubling of income. Yes, sir. A farmer. Yes, sir. Is it reason for Prime Minister? Yes, sir. Will it be possible with the uh, with the help of uh, other uh, uh, other uh, you can say supportive income uh, from to what what type of other income you can think for for the farmer for doubling their income in the Muran idea? Sir, uh, firstly, we can apply the agroforestry concept uh, okay. over there. So, hmm. so in agroforestry, sir, uh, in case of crop failure, hmm. we the farmer will still have the uh, still have the benefits of the uh, their tree producer. Hmm. So it will give an addition to them, sir. Also, sir, we can uh, we can use the minor forest uh, minor forest produce and make industries out of them. So it will also help in ensuring extra or additional income to them and also sir uh, in forestry also we have concept uh, of utilization of like sir uh, having for example sir having pond ecosystem and uh, and using the animal husbandry can be thought of yes sir animal husbandry surely sir because all areas are very milk producing areas. yes sir milk producing oh, sorry sir that's that I want I, I, my last question is uh, suppose you are day for Gwalior or Murena. Yes, sir. But these are very tough areas. Yes, sir. Especially notorious people are there, and uh, everybody is carrying gun with them. Yes, sir. Okay, and there is a sand mining. Yes, sir. You know, mafias are moving there. Yes. Sir. Always there is a incident. How will you handle all these things? And being a lady, high press officer. Sir, uh, sir, uh, yes, there are uh, the serious problems like gun culture and sand mafia there. But uh, we should appreciate the fact that the uh, Morena district is one of the highest uh, is one of the highest improving in tree cover. It is third district in terms of the improvement in forest cover, sir. So things are improving, and also, sir, uh, we can aware the masses that what we are doing is for the betterment of them only, and we can uh, use our uh, sub, uh, use our system to curb the uh, activities okay, so you. Right, uh, you have done bfc yes sir so uh, generally people going for uh, studying engineering or uh, doctor mbbs why is that you chose bfc uh, sir uh, actually uh, after my 12th examination only i was having somewhere in my mind that i will go for civil services sir so uh, i did not thought of uh, I did not thought of doing uh, engineering and this all. I go for a simple degree. So, degree. can you say that you are not really interested in uh, BSc also? So, this is not the case. When I studied for it, I uh, I took most of out of it. And uh, when since uh, science or science were my basic subjects in my school also. So, I no. The point is, uh, what you are saying is contradicted because the options which you took was uh, nothing to do with physics or chemistry. You took phys forestry and geology. If you had such a long-term plan, then you would have taken BSc. Uh, then you would have uh, chosen that as an option. So forestry and geology in BSc. Ah, maybe you could have studied forestry, or maybe you could have taken physics or chemistry as your option. Sir, uh, sir, uh, I think sir, uh, uh, studying subject for uh, uh, for graduation and uh, studying sub subjects for. Uh, uh, for mains examination like Indian Forest Services are two different things, sir. Sir, in Indian Forest Services, uh, I have to prepare two optional. Uh, and sir, uh, forestry being the subject which will, uh, sir, forestry actually is the subject which make me aware of the fo forest thing, sir. All right. What is scientific temper? So scientific temper, and uh, why should we promote it? So scientific temper is the way of looking at the thing in a scientific and rational manner without having any prejudice to any fact. Suppose say if anyone says like this happens in this way, so one should go for enquiry rather than st straightly believing in it. And we should promote the spirit of scientific temper in our citizens to ensure uh, that there is no superstition, there is no uh, prejudice uh, regarding uh, any particular thing. Now, during the corona pandemic, you yes. must have realized that uh, when the vaccination was introduced, there were a lot of apprehensions and a lot of uh, <coughs> fake news also was there. Yes. Not, not only in India, but throughout the world. 
Yes. Sir. How do we remove this? Because if you have people who do, who believe that the vaccination is going to create more problem for us, sir, I believe the uh, uh, sir, I believe that the main uh, main solution lie in educating the masses and making them aware of the exact thing, sir, uh, and giving them rational against their against their notions. Mm -hmm. uh, if they say that this is the case, then we should rationally and with facts. tell them that this 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 are the cases and you will not get hurt no probably we are uh, thinking that people who are not literate are generally who are uh, having this problem in fact a lot of people who are really educated and from very comfortable background are also uh, believing that vaccines are not good for us but unfortunately this is also a problem that even after being educated we believe in speak loudly uh, Sorry, sir, sir. It, unfortunately, this is also a problem that even after being educated, we will believe in such superstitions and some fake news is like uh, not, sir. Also, you must have since you are also digitally quite active, you must have realized that there are a lot of fake news, uh, misinformation, disinformation, which is there in the digital world, internet. Yes, sir. And it is creating a lot of problems. Yes, sir. How do we handle all this? so uh, we can uh, so especially for countering fake news uh, we can uh, we can we can have a uh, regulation or we can have a watch on the fake news activity per se for example if there is any uh, fake news we can go for countering uh, them uh, i'm not exactly remembering the thing but there were some initiatives also Uh, probably there was some hello initiative or some initiative which was to counter fake news only and and in turn provide the right information about the things now recently there have been some move towards uh, reclaiming chambal ghati or chambal ravines for agriculture purpose uh, what is your view on this sir i believe it is a very good pro uh, good project and we should go with is it ecologically uh, sustainable sir there are certain challenges uh, like uh, people are saying that leveling uh, the field may enhance the gully erosions but uh, sir i believe that taking necessary steps uh, like or doing minor changes in the project if required we should go with the project sir minor changes means minor changes means sir uh, if uh, uh, if there are uh, if there are zone specific or area specific problem like uh, problem like sir if uh, like uh, what i am aware of is the the main criticism was uh, that uh, level uh, that uh, with the leveling of field that uh, in, uh, instead of leveling of field we should go for uh, we should go for counter uh, sorry sir uh, we should go for contour plantings uh, and uh, uh, planting in uh, ridges and trenches so th this we can i think change So what he's saying is, it is more appropriate for horticulture than agriculture. All right. Now, uh, since you're a student of forestry, while coming in, did you see some trees outside? Sorry, sir, I did not. No, you did not. Okay, thank you.